Oh, blessings. Hello. Do you like my hat? <laughs> I was, I want to make this video about how to stay consistent. And I thought it would be good for me to make this video as I'm ending my run. And it was cold this morning. I couldn't find my hat, so I have my son's Spider-Man hat on. Anyway, ah, something that I know you want to know is how you can stay consistent in your self-care. Because I've asked you, how can I support you? And this is something that you told me. And so I have a few things to share that I think might help with staying consistent. Whew, before we do that, oh, let's just take a deep breath in and let it go and feel yourself come all the way into your body. Don't, as best as you can, try to listen to this without multitasking and realize that as you receive this message without multitasking, you are already practicing self-care. Now, how do we stay consistent? One thing we need to remember is this. Whew. We have amnesia. We have amnesia. Meaning, let me sit down here. Okay. Meaning every day, we get to practice remembering who we are. Every day we have an opportunity, and this is what I'm calling self-care, and we have practices, right, that help support it. But every day, we are, let's be honest, you know, we're at war. We're at war or we're in, in love, but also there's a part of us that really does not want any part of our growth, right? It, it's like... It's like if we don't remind ourselves of our enoughness every day, of our magnificence, of our radiance every day, then we are unconsciously in the stream of, you know, something's wrong with me, not good enough, you know, small scarcity, hiding out. It feels like agitation. It feels like depression. It feels like heaviness. So these are all flags when we're feeling this way that we may be caught in an unconscious belief that something is wrong with us, that we're not good enough, you know, all of that kind of thing. So self-care, when I say self-care, I mean those practices that wake us up to the truth of who we are. I don't have to teach you how to be critical of yourself. I don't have to teach myself that. I don't, I don't pay anyone to teach me that. <laughs> um, I pay teachers, you know, I invest in care practices in guidance and support to help remind me of my own like magnificence. So we need to get that this is a fight. We're fighting for our lives. And when we realize that, when we get that, like every day lost to insecurity, insufficiency, doubt, resentment, you know, heaviness, addiction, every day lost to that is, you know, we don't have that, those kinds of days to spare. And so we need to get the urgency of self-care, the urgency of practice, of remembering who we are. And what does that look like for you? Because if we don't have practices, we are believing the trance of unworthiness. We actually have to have practices to wake us up out of that. And so, you know, something that, that one of my mentors says is we need to make self-care law. And when I heard that, it really, you know, it really like blew me open and blew my mind because it highlighted the ways in which I had kind of like put self-care on you know, the back burner in a way that it wasn't, pri it was like, sometimes it's not a priority. You know, I'll let laziness get in the way or I'll let that thought, I don't feel like it get in the way or I'll let, you know, um, tomorrow, I'll do tomorrow get in the way um, or I'll let it's too much get in the way. And we do, we have these voices inside that are trying to pull us away from remembering who we are. And so, Staying consistent with our self-care requires deep commitment. 
and this awareness that you are in ways fighting for your life. You're fighting for your life. Doesn't it? Don't you get that? That if you're not taking good care of yourself, if you're not taking care of your physical body, your emotional body, you're not um, connected to source, to whatever your uh, relationship is with creator, I call it God, um, your relationships, if you're not taking care of these things, then it's easy to get swept away in the trance of unworthiness. You are worth fighting for. And so when we remember how important this is, it can inspire us to roll up our sleeves and do the hard work of, I mean, I didn't feel like, I was cold this morning, I didn't feel like getting up and doing this. You know, I didn't like, I, 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 I resisted it. You know, I resisted waking up at, you know, before five in the morning so that I could, you know, have my meditation practice and then go on my um, run walk. I don't run the whole time, but <laughs> I do run, walk, run, walk. Um, and that's new for me because uh, I normally just walk. And so this is like a little stretch for me to, I like to do this to grow my endurance, to strengthen my mindset. So you're worth fighting for. If you're finding that your self-care practices are inconsistent, it simply means they don't matter enough to you. Plain and simple. It's not a priority. How does it become a priority? When you get that you're fighting for your life. When you get that, if you don't remember who you are, you have amnesia and you're walking around like you're not good enough. And you're attracting all of that into your life when you're coming from that place. Isn't that the truth? You know what I mean? When you're all crabby and grumpy and, you know, down the world relates to you that way because we are relational beings right we have these mirror neurons that means that you know whatever you're feeling in time if I'm hanging out with you for long enough I'm gonna feel it too and so when we are conscious and we are creating our state and we're in a radiant state of being and this is what I teach you know then our, our life reflects that, right? So consistency, commitment, self-care is law, right? These are all things that I want you to remember to help motivate you to practice remembering who you are. So what are your practices, you know, that you're committed to? And what are you committed to doing today? Share it in the comments below. And some of my favorites, like meditation, I already mentioned, definitely moving my body every day, nature, right? Getting out in nature, cuddling with my kids and my husband and my cat, <laughs> um, you know, slowing down. Um, so I have practices that are both more like formal and practices that are just habits that I commit to throughout my day. Um, and I have a whole system around that. <laughs> I don't know how anyone does it without one. So um, what's yours? Um, please let me know, drop it in the comments. And um, really, this is the time of the year to commit more than ever to waking up because, you know, tis the season for holiday stress and overeating and drama if you're not in your right heart and mind. So here's to you really enjoying the season in the, um, deepest sense. And I'm sending you so much love and many blessings. Let me know what about this served you. Namaste.